Hello Pisces, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in to your Who's checking up on you, spying on you, tarot reading. We're going to be using a couple of decks to see who this person is and why they're trying to check up on you. Is there a history between the both of you? Is there a curiosity and how are they trying to find out more about you? Okay, let's jump into it. We've got the Knight of Wands. The Five of Swords, the Ten of Wands, okay, straight off the bat, it's not someone who's doing too well. You've possibly recently parted in the last five months, five weeks, could even be five years, possibly due to a third party situation or uh, multiple people. I don't think you've had contact for quite some time though. It's been a while. Okay, we've got the Two of Pentacles, definitely a juggling act. It's potentially someone who did deceive you and we do have deception with the Seven of Swords. We've got the Hangman here. Okay, Pisces, there's a lot of hurt, pain, and unresolved energy to, towards this person. Now, it could even be two different people. The two pentacles, the two people, well, the third party, like love triangulation. Um, it may be someone you had a love triangle with, someone you had an affair with, someone that there was cheating involved with, or you were potentially seeing two different people at the one time. Naughty, naughty. But... What I'm seeing here is that an attraction still exists and there's an eagerness, which the uh, Knight of Wands brings. They're not doing too well. The hangman is about, um, I mean, ultimately it can, it can be a kind of like punishment and him having to, um, you know, a punishment fit for his crime. In this image, he's seen sacrificing the bull. So he's doing something or, or this person, he or she, has sacrificed something really big for you. They would only sacrifice bulls for religious reasons. Um, so, and, it, you know, it's on this must of us. So I'm thinking, obviously, there's, there's the process that's going to be involved with um, prolonging, you know, through mummification and whatnot. But um, going on into tangent here, I think um, this person did a mischievous act. Okay, we've got the baboon. Okay, mischievous energy. And it, it wasn't a creature that was revered in, um, you know, in the Egyptian realm. So straight away, I get this person was either very quirky, very different, alternative, someone that wasn't your usual type, but someone who potentially caused some heartache here. And the way in which they have left their last sort of before they made that exit, there was some deception here. So they're either deceptive in nature or there was some, some deceptive things that happened between you and them. Not really sure who was the one that was doing it, but the Ten of Wands, this person is having a hard time. They are. The Five and the Seven of Swords, though, this, this particular column makes me think this person is... is <sighs> They're trying to pick up the pieces again. Something about manipulation. So it's either this was present in your connection when you were together. Um, did you have a relationship? I don't see a full-blown relationship here. I see it's someone that might have played you. I see it's someone that wasn't completely honest. Someone that you were sort of, you had something new going, but it, it never got onto stable ground. Notice how the baboon is sort of balancing on the two. You know, he's bouncing this pentacle on his head and he's trying to um he's he's trying to stay still on this um on this registration here so straight away i get the sense that this person was wobbly okay they were they were fickle they changed their mind pisces um you know they may have said sorry maybe there is some some silent treatment between the both of you that could be going on now so it could be someone you're sort of giving the silent treatment to or they're doing it towards you Either way, um, I think there's been movement away from each other. They could also live further away or travel a lot. They're, they either live a nomadic lifestyle or they're constantly traveling, moving. They're constantly doing things. And I get the sense that they are checking up because there's something that they're looking back on. I wouldn't say they want closure. I wouldn't go so far as to say that, but I say with the Nine of Wands, they wouldn't hesitate to pick things up again. So, and because it's a very strong lust energy, it makes me think that this person is is still lusting for you in a way. 
but they're still mischievous. There's something that's not trustworthy entirely about this person. Now, this isn't going to be for all of you. For some, I feel like you might have hurt them and they're bearing the grunt of it. They've got their blades up, you know, swords of communication. And if these blades are upright, right now there's anger. They don't have anything nice to say. They're, they're, they're bitter. Um, they want to punish you in a way, maybe. They might have even done a bit of a disappearing act, so you don't check up in on, on them. But I think right now, pride and ego um, and those protective defense mechanisms that we have inbuilt, um, I think that's what's shining through for this person. So they're not, a, they're not in a place where they want to check up because they're not going through a very good time right now. There's either regret for their action um, or they're living with a, a, a burden, so to speak. Maybe they think they were a burden to you. Um, or they think that they caused you pain or heaviness. And maybe they're making some some self-sacrifices that need to be made um, to, to give themselves rebirth or a new life or, or a fresh perspective, so to speak. Um, if they are inquiring about you, I would say it's through people. I would say it's through the people that have come up in the cards. It could be that they've sort of driven past your work. The Knight of Wands is, is active. So it could be someone that has gone to the same gym that they know you go to. It could be someone that walks past your local park. It could be someone that's driven past your work. They may have taken some action to see you face to face, or they may have taken some action to meet with mutual friends if you have any, or mutual um, you know, relations in any way. Um, through work or people that you used to work with or friends that you used to have that's the effort they've been making but i would say they've restrained from sort of looking online um or anything like that i would say it's more the physical uh, rather than anything else and it could be like that because the hangman is punishment it could be like they're sort of self-punishing themselves, Pisces, and going, okay, well, I stuffed up this relationship, therefore I need to punish myself. I need to, I, I'm going to deactivate my Instagram, for example, and not look at Pisces page because, you know, I don't deserve to see it. So there could even be self-punishment that they're sort of inflicting on themselves. It's a very interesting and very unique, that's for sure, very unique kind of person here, um, or at least the way in which they're acting at this at this stage but i will leave your reading at that and of course appreciate you joining me i will be posting readings tomorrow your weekly readings so feel free to tune back in otherwise of course please like this video um, and subscribe to the channel to get updates for when pisces readings are posted throughout the week and month um, otherwise much love thank you so much for your support and i'll catch you tomorrow bye for now